Hello, and welcome back to The Mount Life. My name's Soren, and this is Steven. There are a lot of exciting things happening this month that we'll share with you on this episode of The Mount Life. St. Patrick's Day is coming at the Mount, and we are all ready to dress in our green. I hope we all are, because you don't want to get pinched. Oof, wouldn't want that. Coming up, here's a day in the life of senior Adrian Martinez. Let's hear what our Rocket soccer captain has been up to. This is Adrian. I'm going to show you a little bit about my day. Right now, I'm going to English class. All right, now we're going to lunch. We're going to lunch. Where are we going to lunch, boys? Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, this is my second and last class of the day. I'm wearing college success with Mr. Walker. All right guys, I'll see you later. I'll see you at the game. Bye-bye. Trained by life every day. Tired of the way it's been going. I went through a similar phase. Going through every emotion. Now it's a whole different wave. I see the future approaching. Nothing can get in my way. This is my life, I control it. I got the remedy, bringing a new source of energy. Look at the mirror that comes to me. It's the only thing that can limit me. Going against and dividing the odds. Hands to be down, we changing the cards. Nowhere to go, cause we came too far. The time in this now, the spots are in charge. Uh. All right, guys, thanks for following me around. Thank you, Adrian, for showing us what you've been up to. Yeah, your average day at the Mount seems pretty exciting. Up next, we have Jameson bringing you all the news on Rocket Sports. Spring sports are going full throttle with baseball, soccer, golf, track, and tennis repping our Rockets. Baseball is on fire only with one L so far. Pretty sweet, right? Soccer just snagged a W against Dove in the district game, and we've got another one on the radar for March 28th. Golf just wrapped up their first tourney in Guthrie. Not bad, finishing six overall. Track and tennis are just revving up, and tennis aced their first tourney. Basketball had a rough exit in the state first round. But hey, next year's our year, right? That's the lowdown on our Rockets in the sports scene. Catch you later. Thanks, Jameson, for telling us about how our Rockets are doing so far. We are very excited to see how all of our sports teams will perform throughout the spring season. Now, we have everyone's favorite segment, Tea Time with Tyler, but with a twist. Tea time. Tea time, tea time, tea time. Hello. My name is Jameson. My name is Avery. And you know what time of the month it is. It's March. It's what, all month. What's in March? St. Patrick's Day. Indeed. So, we're going to go find some fellows with our hair and interview them. Let's go. Is there any red-headed fellows out here? Is there red-headed fellows? Not that I see. No. No. It's Tyler's birthday this month. Pa turn, the, turn on the camera. It's Tyler's birthday. Oh, birthday. It's Tyler's birthday this month. Excuse me, I have a question. Is your hair color real or fake? Real. What does St. What does Patrick's Day mean to you? <laughs> I don't know. Fake. Hey. hey! You're a ginger? Yeah. What month is this month? Leprechaun month. It is Leprechaun month. What does this month mean to you? It's amazing, I love it. Gabe, what month is it? March. What's in the month of March? Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Did you hear that? Now, what do you do for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, that's a tough one. Lots of things. Uh, obviously dressed up in green. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a tough one. Um... Uh, <laughs> uh, Look for uh, three leaves clovers. Mm. Gotta get lucky, you know. What does it mean? What does St. Patrick's Day mean to you that you're a ginger? Uh, I feel appreciated. Uh, 
um, connected with fellow gingers. Do you think the word ginger is offensive to people of our hair color? Uh, it depends on how it's used. Well said. So you're a ginger? Yes. What month is it this? What, what is this month? Uh, our month. What does this month mean to you? Uh, St. Patrick's Day. What does it mean to you as a fellow ginger? It's very important to me. Do you find the word ginger offensive? No. No, I don't. I'm looking at someone right now. He doesn't know who I am, and I don't know who that is. I don't know who it is. But he's looking at me funny. He's eating his noodles. How are you? Do you know any gingers that may be near? Any gingers that may be near? No. It's March, Father. Do you know what day is in March? St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes, it is. Wow. Yes, it is. How do you... How do you how are you gonna spend St. Patrick's Day? Yes. <clears throat> no comment. Mm. Feeling a bit of hostility right now. Mm. There's no uh, Lenten rules on green on St. Patrick's Day. That'd be purple. So mm. you must be prepared. Mm. Are you prepared to be pinched? I do not want to be pinched. Mm. 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 Uh oh. What's going on? <laughs> Caught me with my food. What month is it? March. What happens in the month of March? Easter. I'm going to ask you again. What happens in the month of March? Oh, March Madness. No. Man. Look at your look look at me and look at Jameson. Look at our hair. What happens in the month of March? Oh, red hair? Man. Ginger. I don't know. Dude. Of our gingers. What happens in March? The leprechauns come. I don't know. St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. That's that's what happens. What will you be doing? What will you be doing to celebrate this monumental day? Um, well, I think that because I'm a redhead, it's you know, it's it's technically my day. So it, well, we yes. will be getting celebrated. I think the three of us. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. It seems like there has been a lot going on this March with our students, but we can't forget about our faculty. We especially cannot forget about our principal. So here's something new, Canes with Miss Kane. Hi Rocket family, I'm Haley Williams with Miss Kane, our principal, and this is our first session of Canes with Kane. Miss Kane, I bought you a box combo for lunch. And Thank you. We will be giving you some questions. Thank you for lunch. Happy you're welcome, to have it. you're welcome. So as you see, we got our box combos. I am, I grew up in Oklahoma City, okay. I'm on the south side. I attended elementary school at Sacred Heart. Um, so right across the street. Right across the street and grew up in that church and then came over here to go to high school. Right. So St. Patrick's Day is coming up, right? <clears throat> do you have any St. Patrick's Day tradition? Do you do a little pinch if they're not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day? Definitely some pinching. Um, my family likes to make corned beef and cabbage and oh. I, like, I, mean, I got you the box combo, but like, what is like, what would be your Cane's order? Like, is this what you would normally get? This or? would be the exact order. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite mm -hmm. moment so far here? Oh, I, you know, think back and it's just been, you know, not even quite two years yet, but two really yeah. great years. Um, one thing that comes to mind was our big volleyball game last year against Bishop McGinnis um, that was here at our, in our gym. And the way everybody just showed up with so much school spirit and pride um, on both sides. And it was just a really great event for Catholic high school. What is your favorite thing about like Mount <clears throat> St. Mary's in general? Um, I enjoy the traditions, um, you know, because I was here as a student. It's been really neat to, to see what traditions have stayed in place and then how some traditions have changed, you know, just a little bit, but they're still part of, um, the life of the mount so do you watch the mount life at all i do what I has do. been your favorite your favorite section of it like <clears throat> your favorite mount life video or like your favorite like just media video in general as of recently uh the media videos are they always blow my mind they're great um the mount life that you all did about um christmas you know what was trying all the weird <laughs> foods and things like that i really enjoyed that one did you play any sports 
I, I played basketball my first year here um, and quickly learned that basketball was not for me. I played it through grade mm. school, played it over here, um, but learned that I was, you know, made for something different. Um, but I did cheer. Um, we had a much smaller cheer team then, but um, cheered then my last three years here. Wow. Finish the quote. MSN Media <clears throat> isn't media without... Um, students. You're right. uh, you guys are are the the lifeline for MSM Media, and yeah. you bring so much to the program. And of course, you know Miss Henderson with her talent and expertise guides you guys um, and kind of facilitates. But you guys take over. You know it's your talent that really goes into making those videos. Thank you. Well, that was our first session of Canes with Kane. Thank you, Miss Kane, for letting us interview you and having lunch with us. Thank you. Thank you for lunch. I enjoyed it. Thanks, Ian and Haley. We're excited to hear more about Mrs. Kane in the future. Yeah, it's always good to hear about how our principal is doing. Next up, we have Tyler with Rocket News. Tyler, let's hear the scoop. Hey Rockets, what's up? It's Tyler from Mount News, bringing you the lowdown on all the cool stuff happening this month. Hold on to your backpacks, because we've got some epic updates. So Axe Week kicked things off, and guess what? We smashed it, raising a whopping $7,000. Major shout out to everyone who chipped in. You rock! Next up, the Speech and Debate Squad is going full throttle with the District Tournament from the 29th through the 2nd. And don't sleep on the Speech and Debate demo on the 14th. Guess who rolled through our school? Archbishop Coakley, that's who. We had a legit all-school mass on the 6th, and it was pretty surreal. Oh, and St. Patrick's Day on the 17th. You know we're going to turn that day into a green party. And the cherry on top? Spring break, my friends. From the 18th through the 22nd, it's our time to chill, Netflix, and not think about homework. Thank you for hanging out with us, Rockets. Have an epic spring break, and catch you on the flip side. Bye bye Thanks, Tyler. Always good to hear about what's been happening around the school. And thank you all for tuning in to another episode of The Mount Life. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. And until next time, this has been The, the Mount, Mount Life. Life.